Hi, my name is Andre. I'm a SharePoint MVP and a member of European SharePoint community. And I'm using TypeScript for two years already in my SharePoint projects. So in this short video I want to show you how, how you can start using TypeScript and what are the benefits. Essentially what TypeScript does, it adds features that we are so used to in C-sharp into JavaScript. So uh, static typing, classes, interfaces, enums, and even generics and lambdas, these features, all these features are in TypeScript, which is really nice. Another interesting thing about TypeScript is that it is a superset of JavaScript and so it, it, it's not a really a separate language that you have to learn but rather it just JavaScript with some things on top and this leads to two important consequences so first is that you can literally rename GS file to TS file and if you are using strict syntax then you don't need to change anything it just works and th this means that it is extremely easy to migrate existing code into TypeScript and continue developing in TypeScript. So really easy to start. Second is that TypeScript generates very readable code. Because it's JavaScript it doesn't need to generate much and that means that it is really easy to move out from TypeScript because at some point you can just delete all the TypeScript files and continue with OneLGS and it will work as well. So easy to move in, easy to move out, safe to try, right? So let's try and I'm switching to Visual Studio and I'm creating a, a new project here and I'm creating a SharePoint app but it can be literally any SharePoint project can be even even SharePoint 2010 project or whatever. So what do we need to start using TypeScript here? Well in Visual Studio 2013 uh, you are lucky you don't need to do much but in older versions uh, you th there are three steps. So uh, first step is to install TypeScript plugin and you can do it uh, for example by going to tools and extensions and updates and to online and then find TypeScript here and install it and that's it. I, I did it already. Second step is a little bit more tricky so you need to configure your project so that it compiles TypeScript files whenever you save the file. Okay so how how do we do that? Well, Google helps as always in these situations, and uh, I'm just uh, googling some something like use TypeScript in existing Visual Studio 2012 project, and go to the first match, and here you can see that in uh, it says that in Visual Studio 2013 everything happens automatically and in 2012 you need this code and in in all the setups you need uh, you need this code well let's let's go and copy this code out of here and let's go back to visual studio and uh, unload the project and now we can edit this project and go to the very bottom of the file and just before the end project tag we can insert this code from Stack Overflow. And notice that it, it here it targets to ECMAScript 5 and if you need to support Internet Explorer 8 you should probably change it to ECMAScript 3 just in case. Although you can do it at any moment of course. And then we can reload the project and actually add uh, a new TypeScript file here. And now we can use TypeScript. That's it. 
So let's create a class. Well, class monkey, and it it will have a method eat bananas and number of bananas is passed here. Okay. All right. And now let's use this. Uh, create a new instance of our class and call our method. And by the way, if we try to pass a string here, you will see that uh, supplied parameters do not match any signature of call target. Same as in C sharp, right? So let's change it back to number. And now everything works. And when I save this file, then you will see that it says that output was generated successfully. Okay, let's go and show all the files and see. Okay, yes, here it is. So file1.js and file1.js.map, which is used for debugging. So this file we should obviously include into the project because GS file is the file that will be actually loaded to the page. And if we put it next to our original file, you will see that it's pretty much the same. And even if I, for example, add a comment here, and as soon as I press Ctrl S, then this comment appears here as well. Pretty nice, right? And there are so many benefits. So for example, you can, you can actually rename this method. Uh, so for example, eat bananas fast and boom it, it changes and it changes also in, in JavaScript as well. Really nice. So okay, but what if we want to use SharePoint here? Okay, you can see that there is no such namespace. It's not found. Uh, and to fix this we need to perform the third step. So we need to go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager and Manage NuGet Packages for Solution and go to Online and search for SharePoint TypeScript. And yes, here it is. SharePoint.typescript. Definitely typed. Definitely typed is the name of library of uh, a collection of TypeScript definitions for different different libraries. So let's install this one and close. And what it does, it adds this typings folder here. And inside this typings folder, we we can see that there there is this SharePoint.d.ts file. And although this file is really huge, it is almost 10,000 lines of code, but SharePoint API is, is really big as well, right? Uh, so, but this file is only used in Visual Studio. So it, it shouldn't be deployed to SharePoint. It doesn't affect performance of your pages, uh, nothing like that. Just for Visual Studio, just for the IntelliSense purposes. So now, if I reference this file, I will be able to use SharePoint IntelliSense. In Visual Studio 2013, I even don't need to reference the file actually. But, but here I need to do that in uh, older versions of, uh, of, Share of Visual Studio. It doesn't work automatically. So as soon as I add this reference SharePoint.d.ts, then you will see that uh, that now we can actually use the IntelliSense. So it, it is loaded, and we can use like client context, get current, and so on and so forth. So yeah, it works, and this. TypeScript is, is really nice and I, I really recommend you uh, uh, trying it. And good luck with your solutions. Thank you for watching.